Good morning and welcome to Oslo. I'm in my very, well, slightly plush dorm room with three beds, and it should be, considering it's 25 euros a night. Uh, I'm going to go around and explore today, have a little walk around, just walk around Oslo. It's 9am and the sun's barely even risen. Because it's December, you only get six hours of sunlight at the moment in Norway, so I've got to make the most of it. <laughs> the sun sets again at three. So I'm going to go out now. I just met this Ukrainian girl at breakfast. So we're going to go and have a look around and see what there is in walking distance of here in Oslo. Let's go. Ooh, it's cold. Say hello, Julia. Oh. <laughs> it's Julia from Ukraine and we are going to the Opera House, right? Yes, yes. No, we should go this way. This way. Guys, yeah, raining. I feel like I'm back yeah, in England it's already. So this is Oslo. It's a very rainy Oslo, but it's fine. I'm just preparing myself to be back in England tomorrow. Can't have it all, so it's fine. Now we're at the Opera House. I'm gonna go inside and have a look around. There. Um, so what's yeah, the time now? Yeah, uh, here everything opens and then it's 15 minutes more. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can go to the roof. Trilla Floyton. <laughs> wow. I think you should wear that. <laughs> not sure. Maybe not in this weather. Hey, buddy. Selfie. <laughs> uh, it's Christmas. I love Christmas. I also love Christmas. Selfie. Well, that was cool. That's the opera house. The rest of it's closed, so I don't know. I'm going to see what else there is to do. But it doesn't cost anything in Oslo because this is apparently the most expensive city in the world. Right? Yeah. Anyway. This place is really pretty. Even like just walking around the streets, just like the architecture. All of the buildings are quite old. And they look cool. Even in the rain, it's nice just to walk around. Changing of the guards, I hope. If we're, if we're just in time. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> okay, the guards are changing right now. That's why these kids are running. But I'm not gonna run. So you might miss it. There they go. Yeah. 
just about got the final few seconds of the changing of the guards in front of the palace and that's about as good as my travel guide for Oslo skills are on the other hand here's a nice view It's so ridiculously cold right now. I've been used to for the last year being in 30 degrees weather. And now like ah, it's as fast as I can move my hand. We're now at the famous Frognir Park and Vigeslands Park and no idea if I said that right. Sorry. Look at all of these. So many. I don't know what any of them mean. I don't know. But a great piece of commentary. This place is cool. But now I'm really cold. Now the sun's come out. So I'm going to go back to the house tour. Wow. Look at the size of you. Hello. Hello, buddy. Oh, wow. You're cool. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> yeah, he's giant. Yeah, he's only he's 15 months. months. Really? Yeah. He'll get much bigger than this. He'll get a bit bigger. And uh, more manly. <laughs> yeah. Making new he's friends? Five months. Five months. There's his baby brother. Wow. She's uh, six years. Six years. Okay. So he's going to get bigger he's, than her. He's, yeah, he's a, he's a, she's a small girl. Hello, right, darling. Like he's he's going to be a big boy, though. <laughs> Yeah. What breed is it? Leonberger. Leonberger. Leonberger, okay. yeah. So I'm back in the hostel now and I'm about to have an interview on Skype with Al Jazeera, which is pretty scary. I'll let you know how it goes after. Well, I just finished the interview with one of the producers of Al Jazeera to decide whether I'll be on the podcast for Monday. But to be honest, I don't think <laughs> I will be. I'm so tired, and I ended up just rambling about rubbish for a couple minutes. But anyway, it's a good opportunity, so hopefully next time. Right, now I'm going to go and check out the Christmas market, I think. So it's almost nine now in the evening, and the flight's in the morning. And I think the market's closed already, but I just decided to have a walk around anyway because it's really pretty here and it feels like Christmas. Look on the lights. So this is the Christmas market, as you can see, it's well and truly closed, but it's still nice. It feels like Christmas, it is Christmas, it's Christmas already. Anyway, as I said, flying in the morning, so thanks for watching, brief stop in Norway, this is my life.